can't cut my tongue. <laughs> Furiously. Like he's playing like some sort no, of that... 1980s Atari Commodore 64 game. Oh, you remember that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit... <laughs> that was a bit... But that's how it was, wasn't it? Like... Do you remember the, when you did the this? best game ever? Um, what was the one with the two guys and they had to go through the thing and you were fighting? What's it oh, called? I, I loved. Uh, was it was it Scramble? Scramble was the one where you had a, like a, a rocket that you used to drop bombs and shoot lasers out the front. Oh, <laughs> man, I don't know. But I remember. Do you remember when you had to happen? run? You had to do Olympics, uh, and if you did that. The quicker you did that, the faster and every you game was the same except like, that when you did like high, like a long jump, you had to get like, the angle of the jump right, yeah, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> Kids. You don't know how good you've got it. My good lord, man. Games. Right. Anyway, welcome back. Welcome back. I've had a bit of a break from making videos, so apologies if the playing's a little rusty. Unwanted break. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but uh, today we are we're looking at some new guitars from Charvel and EVH yes. uh, for 2022. Yes. Uh, if you're not uh, aware, there obviously is a connection here that you know you got Charvel, EVH. Jackson, Gretsch, you know, they're all part of the, the Fender family. I mm -hmm. uh, have been for many, many moons. But we got, um, yeah, the three new Charvels. I, 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 like, I do like Charvels. It's probably my favourite one of the, of the family group of the Super Because it, for me, it takes you back to what an original Super Strat was, yeah. which was just a Fender Strat yeah. that a dude would take to a luthier and go, I just need to hot rod it up, man, put a humbucker in it and then, you know, flatten the radius of the fretboard and let's stick Floyd Roses on it. Yeah, like yeah. That. But essentially, the, the body carve and contours are very straight. The collar's epic, man. Yeah, this it's is... Like, a, this is um, and you're flexing the... In, it's like coppery kind of goodness. Yeah, I think these are referred to as like flip colours. So as you, you know, flip. as you move it in the light, the, the, the um, colour changes. Mm. EVH, yeah. of course, is, um, you know, God rest his soul, Eddie Van Halen's oh. guitar brand. Uh, he was, you know, as well as being an insanely influential player, you know, he had some cool ideas around building guitars. So yeah. you've got the Wolfgang vibe, which very much was his kind of um, creation, going back to the original collaboration with Music Man and yeah. then through PV and everything, oh, and then stalker. ultimately with his own brand. Yeah. And then the one on the, the left there is very reminiscent yes. of the kind of Kramer guitars that he was playing yeah. way back in the day. I, mean, I, lo the I love this one. Me, me and Rebeer did a video on these like when they brought them back. Was that a year ago or two years now? I don't know, but you can watch the video up there anyway. Um, with some different colours. I think there was a pink one then and some other colours. But this is new colours for this. So where um, should we anyway, start, Pete? What do you I want to know. start with? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I mean, I was, I'm sitting with this now, so I might as well start with that, right? I think you're right. Yeah. Right, so this is the 5150, uh, the deluxe one, because you've got a quilted top, uh, you've got a maple neck, you've got an ebony board, you've got uh, a EVH Floyd Rose trim here with a drop D thing here. <laughs> I can't put it because my fingers are a bit I always, I think you have to... You have to do that. The thing, bit, yes, it? that's it. Look at that. I love that thing, though. There you go, all the way around. Okay, uh, so we tune it down to a D. You've got a kill switch. You got Wolfgang, Wolfgang pick up. Uh, you got Wolfgang. I'm just saying it again. That's a difficult one. And you got two uh, Wolfgang humbucking pickups in here, tone and volume. And I think they put some like 500k pots in here and something, so it's a little bit different. Um, lots of holes, all recessed, which we like. Looks great. And a hockey stick I kind uh, headstock. Of, so I kind of. I like the position of the of the um, pickup selector. Yes. Kind of like that. Kind Very of interesting point, again that they don't do any. It just goes to show, doesn't it, that back in the day, the kind of the shreddy guys, they never went. Oh, I can't play up here because the heel joint's too big. You got to, you know, that's. There were real a, men back then. They just played. That's quite a, a modern thing, isn't it? It sort is of recessing because you can the, the, would, the heel joint. And also, you see, there's 21 frets on here. We're not talking like 24 frets either, because. I mean, who was the first guy to do that? Went like going, please, can you just like add a bit on and. His his fingers were really long, so <laughs> when he got up there, it just gave in, went in there. Um, I, you know, but that's. Do you need more than? Okay, so let me see if I can demonstrate this, how, how this detuner works. So like an E, and you're supposed to pull that out. See now. You won't be doing that. Yet. And then push it back in there, and then it should push it down to a D. And back to the other bit. See how good it's. I 
I mean, it's, uh, there is a little um, switch on the back, a little Allen key you can put in there, and I think you'll adjust those two things, you know. Um, and I'm sure this is out of the box, so I'm sure you need to give it a little bit of just settling Fine in tune. time. Yeah, settling in time and make sure you know what it is. But it's really cool. I mean, I don't know how much I would use it, but... I don't know. If, did, did Eddie invent the D-tuner? I think he did. Uh, maybe he did. I mean, we, yes, absolutely. I think he did. All right, well, look, so that's um, the 5150 yeah. Deluxe. Did we do any tones on this uh, or not at all? Not really, not no. Really. Let's, let's do, do some, some tones. Done, some cleanest tones in the Kraken. Almost nothing else matters, but it was. More gain, because that's what we need. <laughs> it's it's authentic, man. It sounds it sounds the it sounds exactly. Are you it. just gain wise there? You're just using the amp. That's gain, just the right? cracking. There's so, no pedals yeah. or anything Channel like that. channel one with a flint and the effects loop. Sound two. A version of your purple custom shop telly coming with a kill switch. I want it on the other side, Dolly. I want it. I want it back here. Shocking. Anyway, move right. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we'll jump over to a Charvel now, um, and we'll just. I did actually memorise all this, and then Pete took so long to do that demonstration, I've yeah. forgotten. Uh, so just before you go onto your Charvel, um, this one is about uh, eight. 150-ish pounds, linked below of course, and there's a slime green one which is slightly cheaper, 750-ish pounds. Same guitar. Same Just guitar, but not, not it, with, the, with the quote top, so. Okay, let's talk about Charvel. Charvel. Um, San Dimas in the beautiful uh, state of California. California. Uh, I think. California. <laughs> yeah, no okay, idea, so this, he says, apologies. So this is a Pro Mod San Dimas. Uh, I believe in the Charvel range, if it's San Dimas, it has no scratch plate. If it's SoCal, yeah. it has a scratch plate. That's yeah. basically the only real sort of naming convention that, that Charvel use. So we've got two humbuckers, American Seymour Duncan pickups here, Floyd Rose 1000 series, and a coil split. So we've got six tones. And why have they gone back to doing that? Because put, pull it out, and then put this uh, arm trimmel arm up. It's okay. Yeah, see, because well, when we had one here, the one we the one we raffled away, yeah. it used to hit the... You think the split should be on the tone? Yeah, or it should be on fine boy switch. Or, if, well, you've got anyway, extra whatever. tones. Okay, so the um, basic spec, older body, maple mm. neck, mm. Uh, rolled fingerboard edges, but not too rolled, um, and a compound radius fretboard. Rolled on. Um, so we're going uh, 12 down here to 16 up here. 16, for me, starts to feel... Um, unfamiliar. I'm just going to put it out there. So I think if you, you know, I think we, if you watch a lot of the videos on this channel, you'll know that we probably over the last six months or so 
got to the point where going from seven and a quarter to 12 sounds like a lot, but it stays familiar if you're yeah. used to sort of, you know, old school guitars. Once you get past 12 into the sort of realms of 14 and then 16, which I think generally speaking about as flat as you're going to get on a guitar, uh, it starts to take on a feel that you might not like if you're into really sort of traditional old school guitars, but yeah. you might absolutely love if you're into more contemporary guitars. I think this is do nine. I mean, you've got, now you've got this, the Mayer's eight and a half, and then you've got nine and a half. I think somebody's do a nine inch radius. Well, Why? Just because. Just because. Just because. Or nine and a half. Just because half you can. Inch. <laughs> um, right. So we have got, again, lots of very stratty kind of features here. So, you know, 25 and a half inch scale length, uh, very sort of stratty feeling, modern C-shaped yeah. neck, obviously stratty headstock, all that kind of stuff. Uh, all the contours are stratty, funnily enough. So you've got the belly cut, but no, you know, standard heel joint. Um, Love the and the, the sort of the... the Art forearm kind of cut here. Uh, the pickups, he says, trying to remember what they are. The pickups are a full shred SH10B in the bridge. Okay. And an Alnico Pro, uh, an Alnico 2 Pro. So they're not Seymour the Duncans this time around? Yeah, yeah, they are. Seymour Oh, they are, all right. Yes, oh, normally there's a Jess and a, and a, a JB, isn't it? Yeah, right. I think that's, so the, generally speaking, Charvel uh, typically fit all their guitars with Seymour Duncan mm -hmm. and American pickups, but not always the same one. So let's do some tones. Oh. I have got my, I've got a hybrid affordable rig today. So I've got a really expensive amplifier that's clean and sounds like this. And then loads of really affordable pedals on the board uh, from Tone City and TC mainly, I think. Yes, entirely. Um, so I'll come to that in a minute. So no coil tap. Oh, okay, so this is now not two humbuckers, as you can hear. This is two uh, inside coils, I think. Yeah. Super funky snappy. Uh, bridge. Super funky snappy. Split. What does the middle do, then? In and out of coils, maybe? In and out yes, yeah? Pete. It's doing. Hey, yeah. Who can hear that? Yeah, just... inner, inner coils, outer coils, uh, and then neck. Hmm. Do you want that on a guitar mm. like this? Do you just mm. want the humbuckers? I think the, so. The power, like, like this I, one. I think I would be tempted to just literally go the three without the coil tap because you've got that if you want that. You've got that coil split sound in the middle anyway. So no. yeah, I, I agree. I would have um, the two humbuggers together in the middle. So would that's you? a better sound, it's a better sound. The difference are too big from, the, from you have yeah. two humbuggers and, it's, and then, then you've got the inner I'm cord. I'm inclined too to much agree with you there. That it, on the one hand, you think, isn't it amazing to have like this huge palette of tones in one guitar? But then on the other hand, I kind of feel like you can go too far with that, can't you? You kind of want all your guitar yeah. tones in one sort of ballpark. In, uh, anyway, I think you're missing out on those two humbuggers together in the middle position. Maybe. Those two humbuggers together are great. Um, that back pickup wants to go. That that's a... This is a 100 watt clean headroom amp. And it wants to go. Now I've got a new pedal here after seven years of being maybe our best selling guitar pedal of all, the Tone City Golden Plexi. Um, they've done a version two, Golden yeah. Plexi version two, which we'll do another video of at some point. Yeah. But they just sent me a prototype of it this morning, so I thought I'll give I it a know. whirl. And... Forty quid. Tons and tons. Forty-five. Forty-five. That's the other thing. For the first time in seven years, there's been a price rise on Tone City. Oh, so that's fair enough. Everything's gone up five quid. Yeah, that's um, say Charvels are of 
all the brands that we sell, yeah. some of my absolute favorites in that sort of, because they all sit in that sort of 700 to a thousand pound kind of price bracket, or typically they do. Yeah. And you get made in Mexico, which yeah. obviously is pretty unique to Fender. Most of yeah. its competing brands would be made this in the one Far is, East. Well. Um, mm -hmm. You get Seymour Duncan American pickups. And again, if you're a sort of a strap player, you get a pretty familiar feeling kind of guitar, yeah. um, but with a slightly contemporary vibe to it. So I have to say that good job, Charvel. But anyway, Absolutely. this is uh, the most expensive one that we've got here today. Really just because of the finish. I think these flip finishes, I mean, hopefully we can get this in crazy light and go from this sort of purple to this sort of bronze kind of color. I like that. That yeah, does add good. about a hundred pounds on, because I think at the, um, Pardon squeaking. Me. Yeah. So I don't know how they spray these to get that sort of flip color, whether it's multiple layers or whether the paint's just more expensive or whatever, but lots of brands. I think this is one of the, I think you're going to see a few brands hitting the whole kind of flip oh. color in 2022. Um, seems hey, to be flip. like, you know, what's going to be cool this year. But yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Well, at least it's onto another EVH. This is the Wolfgang. This is in the gold sparkle, basewood Ooh. body, a roasted maple neck. Uh, you know, you got the locking knot on there, and you got a um, R2, Floyd, R2 special Floyd Rose on it. Uh, two hum, uh, humbucking Wolfgang pickups in it. Uh, volume and tone, three-way selector switch. That's a lot cheaper, easy. right? Isn't 519, this? about 500 quid, so 519 quid. And I must have played some of these guitar before. This plays great. I mean, you've got a slim neck on it. You got your uh, roll board, but not too Is rolled. The, on the original kind of. <laughs> Music Man sort of uh, yeah. um, same kind of shape, isn't EVH it? EVH kind of vibe. It had that slightly narrower kind of typical Music Man neck. Is that very different to the 5150 or does it feel I think these two feel similar? the same. I think the neck on this one feels slightly fatter, but I might be wrong. Just feel the... Yeah, it's very... It's, it feels very... narrower in a way, you know. Yeah, maybe just a smidgen, but it's yeah. not. It's not. And it's not music, music man, man. Is it? Is it? No, is it? I don't think no, so. I don't music think man so. be a bit narrow. I think yeah. Still, but I think. We're, we're talking. We're talking oh, millimeters. It's yes. like one or two millimeters. But when you hand, yeah, you know that that's a lot. It's a great color. It's a great color. There's a couple of colors as well. So, um, but anyway, links below for all that. So check that out. But that's just a normal Floyd Rose now, right? It's a special. Not but as in it's not, it's an EVH. not, you, so you got back and yeah, yeah, forward and yeah, all no, that. It doesn't have the, the thing, there's another guitar, anyway, take the links below, I think there's one with, a, with the same. Oh, um, a Wolfgang with a D tune. Yeah, I think so, but I'm not completely sure, take the links below. There probably is. Yeah, there's a lot of guitars coming from, from yeah. Bender Corp this year, but anyway, so I'm in the Kraken clean tone. Bit more top end. That, on it. Sorry, man. You can you can pull up, can you? No, no. Right. It's still, so it's still. He, so that's still an EVH thing, is it? So you can only push down. You can't pull yeah, back. Yeah. There's on no. That. There's no. Right. That's, that's what I meant before. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right, so okay. there's no. There's none of that. And I guess that helps with tuning. Massively. Yeah, you know, yeah. because it's not wobbling up and down. See what I mean with the two humbuggers? Instead mm. of splitting them, this is a much more usable sound. And this plays really nice. I mean, it, it's got nines on it, but it's... A Super balanced pickups. Yeah. You know, sounds really it's a good. good sound. Um, yes? I was going to say, and you're still in the clean side, I'm right? still in the clean side, <laughs> clean. Here comes the gain.
Again, 12 to what 16. What is not to like? In this fact, is a great guitar, man. The, the, that um, Kraken, if I remember rightly, going back to the, the launch demo that Rebeer did three or four years ago, Yeah. It's um, Channel 1 is like high gain Marshall. Yeah. So when we say clean channel, there isn't really a clean channel. Mm, uh, really. And then Channel 2 is was uh, Martin Kidd's sort of take on Rabir's 5150 Mark yeah. II, I think. Yeah. So, no, so it's obviously got, it's hopefully got, it's got that kind of Van halen vibe. Absolutely, just check that. Okay. So this beautiful Strat here, or Strat style, Super Strat, um, in this kind of pearlescent white. I don't know, again, we need to try and get this in the light because it's not just its not just a white guitar. What do they call this? Platinum Pearl. <laughs> um, everybody's favorite necklace. Uh, okay, HSS is my favorite kind of Super Strat pickup configuration, but of course that's just subjective. Uh, this is a hardtail though, which is kind of unusual. Um, looks a little bit like Charvel have tried to sort of do a hybrid fender take on a hip shot. So you've got these sort of like high mass saddles, but strung through the body. Um, same neck as was on the um, flip colored one here. Yeah. Uh, same compound radius fretboard. So 12 down here, 16 up here. But we're going very familiar now. So we've got a JB in the bridge, probably the, the sort of the iconic Seymour Duncan um, super strap pickup. And then two, what are these flat strats or oh, something? No, I can't remember what they said they be. were here. These are flat strats, yeah, SSL6 flat strats. Five way selector, as you'd expect, no coil tappiness, uh, but locking tuners oh, on the back. I'll tell you um, what, before you start playing, mm. just, just grab that neck, feel that neck, and then feel that neck. That's definitely much uh, narrower, it's, isn't it's, it? It's a different, yeah, so it, it's, it's, thinner, it's actually, it's, do you know what? It feels like it's. Slightly it wider. It feels like it goes a it's bit fatter. fatter on the sides, but then but then quite noticeably flat this right flat. in the middle of the back this of the neck. This one is flat, right? Yeah, maybe. This one is flat, yeah, yeah. that one is slightly more rounded. Anyway, come in and, and necks, feel some man, necks. I tell you, it's like... It's it, like you necklaces. Would, you, would, you would not think that, you know, like tiny, tiny, one's a millimetre this way or half a millimetre this way, and you're sort of going, oh, that can't possibly feel that different. And then you go, wow, it's like massively different. Okay, so let's start with this uh, neck pickup here. It's slightly dark, dark. Darker yeah. than slightly I would dark, have thought a neck dark. pickup would yeah. be, but... I've got no pedals on. Uh, these two. Very familiar. Stratty. Middle. Not my nice. favorite position, the middle uh, position. But... That sounds very thin compared these to... These two? Good sound. And then the JB. Very, very commonly, as commonly, commonly. assumed JB meaning it's something to do with Jeff Beck, but it's not. It stands for Jazzy Blues, right? Which is not the style of music that this pickup has generally been adopted for. And legend like, has it... Has it that when they launched the Jazzy Blues, the yeah. JB, uh, and everyone went, oh, it's Jeff Beck new pickup. Seymour Duncan just went, well, if that's what you want to think, yeah, I'm saying fine. nothing. I'll sell loads of those. Can't, yeah, can't be bad to be associated with him. But it's not anything to do with, with Jeff Beck. Seymour was called BJ, wasn't it? Barry uh, Johnson. Um, yes. Okay, uh, with Ganage. <laughs> It's 
always been one of my... It's like not too gainy, but enough. Yeah. And it's bright as well, so it yeah. cut... <laughs> Yeah. And of course, being a hard tail, what you lose, I suppose, by not being able to go, woo, woo, you absolutely gain by rock solid tuning. And, um, and I think probably a slightly fatter, you know, you've got a little bit more of the wood kind of attached to the, absolutely. To the string. Absolutely. Um, this would probably be my favorite. Favorite one of the three? Had you not been about to just play with that one? Well, this is uh, uh, so. Tell us about that one, Mr. Pete. SoCal one in the platinum pink oh. uh, with the Floyd Rose on it, and I think it's the same specs as that one. So all the body and all that different stuff, and no pushy pulley either. But a hum, a hum, hum uh, con configuration here, um, and the the pickups on this one are. It's impossible to remember. They keep yeah, it is because they change all, all the time. So a TB6 in in the bridge, a Custom flat strat SSL six single coil. Okay, so that's the same as these two. So here. that's uh, and yeah. then and then the neck is an SH six N distortion. Oh, it's got this. Yeah. Is so there distortions a name? here? Distortion TB six and distortion SH six N neck. It must so be Duncan neck, distortions, right? Bridge, basically. Probably, yeah. So they mm -hmm. are. They've got some gain. They've got some gain. And five way and nothing else. And you'll also notice all five of these thousand. guitars have the. Um, truss rod adjustment yeah, at the good, uh, bottom of the neck, which is generally speaking the easiest kind of way of, uh, yeah. for any guitar to adjust the truss rod. In turn, you know, if you, if you want to do a recessed, uh, which I like, made in Mexico as well. You're into your tomorrow. recessed plastic, aren't you? Well, I, 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 actually, I don't really mind, I don't really care because I'm not going to play this bit of it and nobody really sees it. So, but, you know, it does. Do you think there's a sense that, does it feel like the neck plate on these is like, Twice as thick as a normal. It's quite thick neck plate. I wonder if that's now. You do you know what? Don't you remember we did that yeah. weird experiment with that Nick Greer? Yeah, with the Nick fat Greer yeah. neck plate, and like yeah. the fatter neck plate did seem to add. I agree. Something. I agree. To the I agree. Tone. The fat neck plate does because you've got you've got more contact. This. I mean, you're gonna people out there going. There is no such thing as tone wood, and there is no such thing as this and that, and this sounds better, and it's all in the fingers. Yes, it is all in the fingers, but you can still it's hear like the difference. But it's like minute difference. Ninety-five percent of the tone is probably, you know, these and these. Yeah, yeah. And then, but then, like the last five percent is like everything else. Everything else. You know? Anyway, let's hear what it sounds like. Uh, I love the color. That's cool pink. color. So this is now in the position four. It's the middle position. Same kind of thin ish yeah. kind. That's Andy Winters. That's on the bottle. It's not. It's, it's Andy not Winters. Message in the bottle. It's a, yeah, I'm just really message, drunk. I'm on the bottle. Yeah, message in it. <laughs> Washing up liquid bottle. That's it's a, so weird, isn't it? We're not. I uh, don't think, in fairness, that we're being 
please don't Sorry. take it that we're criticizing Charvel in no, this. No, no, not at all. It's like, I think the more, again, it's weird how, I guess your tastes change over time, don't they? But the, the more that we play guitars where I think, well, I said it before earlier in the video, where, where you've just got this very, very broad spectrum of tones on yeah. it, the more I think you end up going, because I guess you can't change your amp settings, can you? No. You've got, to, you've got to have an amp setting. And so like the right setting for that might not be the right setting for that. And, and well, so you, you should, always no, end up not, with one being... It should be being... balanced, man. You know, that, that my, my thing with this is that from here, with the gain, and then here, it's just... An, I would just rather have it to go. Not even there. I would just have humbug or humbug. Would you just on have like guitars. one pickup on your guitar? Is that, no, is no, that no, no, no. I would just have. I mean, I'm not sure if you need those three middle positions. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. Unless, unless of course you go, I'm then I'm going to clean and I got to put lots of stuff on it. Well, I, I think that. See, maybe it's just because it's too much gain. I certainly went in, it was second, kind of a prince then, but well, I, I mean, okay, fair enough, I take that back. If you're doing cleaner tones there, it's nice. It is, I, I don't think you have to take it back, I think, I think it's just, you know, when you've got a real wide palette of tones on your guitar, you are going to go, oh, that kind of works there, but maybe it doesn't work there, and, and I think sometimes when you have like a, yeah, yeah this one I don't a, get. A, a three single have, coils or, have three, or two humbuckers. Yeah, three positions and then... And a one night stand. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. As yeah. Pete has said on multiple occasions, uh, the information about these guitars are in the links below. Um, I think we should get on and just do another video, Mr. Pete. Yes. All right, Carlos. Yeah. Right. Like okay. And subscribe. Bye bye. See you later. Bye.